meet the man, the myth, the legend, Daniel, our assistant property manager here at the Pines of Clover Lane. Hi everyone, I'm here today to talk to you about uh, how late payments will work, when you should shut off your auto payments, and other rent related uh, issues or uh, charges you may have with your month to month rent charges and balance. All right, Daniel, so first off, um, how do our late fees work? When is rent late? And how, many, how much can I expect to pay when rent's late? Can those late payments lead to an eviction? Well, that's a good question, Andrew. And uh, late fees will be assessed on the 4th and the 15th of each month. Uh, this will be if there's any balance on your account, um, whether that may be utilities or rent or any additional uh, extras. Um, the this, the late payments can lead to an eviction if they are not taken care of in a timely manner. Um, you will be given a seven day notice after the third of the month and you'll have seven days from that date to make payment at which time you would then be filed on for court and that will um, usually take place around the 14th, 15th of the month. Um, it's not really a set date, it's, it's just going to be seven days from when the, that seven day letter is dated and sent out. Um, at that point, you would incur a charge of $149 for a court filing fee, um, and then at that point, paperwork would be processed for a court date. Well, that's good to know. Um, I'm going to make sure that all of my payments are submitted before the 4th. Um, now for my next question, so what if my payment doesn't clear? Will I be charged for that? Is there a fee that's charged separately from my bank? Yeah, Andrew, um, if your payment does not clear through the bank and is returned to us for any reason, whether it may be uh, something not put in correctly in the computer or an actual insufficient funds um, payment, then that uh, would incur charges. Um, it's a $100 uh, insufficient funds charge, and then there's also the late fees that you'd be subject to. Um, that you, you know, if, you, if it was previously paid on time and you didn't get the late fee, it would then be added at that time. Um, but th th then everything would also, as mentioned in the previous question, with the court filing would continue uh, from that date as well. Okay. Well, thank you, Daniel. That was very informative. Um, I didn't know there were separate fees other than the bank would charge normally. Um, my final question for you is when should I turn off my automatic payments for rent? Well, you should turn off your automatic payments for rent uh, when you're heading into that last month uh, that you're going to be here. So that last rent payment that you're going to make, you'll want to make that by a cashier's check, a money order, or personal check, uh, as opposed to the online payment. Um, it, it could, If you have the online payment still on for that last payment, it could cause you to get double charged. Okay, perfect. Thank you for answering all my questions, Daniel. I know that myself and our viewers appreciate your time as well as always to our viewers. Please don't hesitate to contact us in the office if you have further questions. And our contact information will be in the description below. Thank you so much. Thank you.